Okay, I literally might start running. Oh my gosh, these birds are chasing me. Hey everyone, it's Alex Grassi and I'm in Tampa, Florida! So I'm in my hotel room right now. I had to have two connecting flights to get here. And last night I did not sleep at all whatsoever. So I'm a little tired, but at the same time, like my adrenaline's running and I'm just ready and ready to go. Today I'm gonna train. There was this nice little creek outside of my hotel, so I was gonna go check that out for a little bit to kind of relax, clear my mind, think about things. So see, there's a gazebo. It's a nice little lake. Um, I can't tell if that's a duck or a turkey. That looks like a very mean duck and I'm gonna walk by really fast. Okay, that duck is following me now. Birds and me don't get along. Oh, and there's more. There's more here. Wow. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna just minding my own business, guys. Just going for a little walk. They do not look like nice ducks. So. Just taking a little stroll out here. It's very relaxing besides the fact that um, these ducks look like they don't want me around. Ooh. Now I kind of don't feel safe. <laughs> I feel like I should leave. So um, yesterday, my flight left out of Austin. I had to do a connecting flight in North Carolina. Then I finally got to Tampa. And by the time I got to Tampa, man, I was jet lagged. Mm -mm. But I was able to get myself to go to the gym, thankfully. So today I'm gonna go get some training and the ring done. By the way, I'm wearing my new Barbie shirt. The one that I bought the other day. I love it, I love it. I'm like, some people like Star Wars, some people like Power Rangers. I like Barbie. But tomorrow's a show and just kind of getting myself mentally prepared for that. I'm super, super, super beyond excited. I'm beyond grateful. Like, who knew that when I started working five months ago, like I would get an opportunity like this. And that's just, wow. Like, that's so crazy to me. And it just makes me want to put everything that I have in it because I know so many people believe in me and so many people have been working with me and I just want to make everyone proud. I want to not only show myself that I can do it, but just everyone else who's also motivated me throughout the way that, yes, you were right, like, I can do this. But I'm so ready for that. I'm so excited. I got my new gear. And it's so cute. And I can't wait for all of y'all to see it. Florida's really nice. Um, everyone says it's really hot. But it's also really hot in Texas. So it kind of feels the same. It's probably just maybe a little more humid here. Probably because the water. These Okay, these birds do not know. Okay, I'll leave. I'll leave. Sorry, guys. Okay, okay, there are, no. I really honestly do not know which, which direction to go.
I don't know if they think I have food or if they're looking at me like I'm the food. But I'm gonna get out of here very quickly. So here's the story. When I was younger, in my backyard, my parents had this shed and I had a blow-up pool. And the blow-up pool, um, okay, I literally might start running. Oh my gosh, these birds are chasing me. <laughs> oh, there's too many of them, look at them. Nope, not for me, not for me. I'll tell you all this story in a second. <laughs> Reason birds and I don't get along, it's more of that they just don't get along with me. When I was younger, there's a shed in my backyard and I had a little blow-up pole and the little blow-up pole was leaning up against the shed. And I was playing outside one day and I heard this noise coming from behind my blow-up pole. So I slowly walked over there and started to push it down. And then bang, this like big old bird head popped out and it looked like an ostrich. I don't know, everyone says it was a vulture, but I'm pretty sure it was an ostrich. And we looked at each other in silence and then it started coming at me and I sprinted so fast back to my back door and I came in and I was hysterical. Like my mom was freaking out cause she had never seen me get that that crazy, whoops. And I was just going crazy and she kept saying, let me go check it out, let me see what's out there. And I was like, no, no, it's gonna eat you too. Like I was just, no, it was not okay. I didn't go outside for months. Like I was certain that that bird was waiting for me. I was certain that it wanted to eat me. Ever since then, birds and I, especially ones with long necks, like the ones like ostriches or vultures, anything like that, I don't know. We're just not the best of friends. But I'm about to call um, a ride and go to training, so I will catch up with y'all in a bit. is her shine debut, only five months as a professional at the Texas Wrestling Academy, trained by Rico Gonzalez, and showing the athleticism that impressed WWN officials as part of a seminar during WrestleMania week this year. The good job of getting on the radar of WWN officials. The question is, can she stay there? Nobody home, as she's able to avoid Didi. Chops. More of that quickness. In trouble in the corner here. Bulldog connects. Does she have her? The upset win for the rookie. So as you saw, those were some highlights from Florida. It is now Saturday, eight days later, and I am in San Antonio, Texas, at the San Antonio Food Bank. And I'm about to have a show here against Taya. Um, she's coming in from California. Really anxious about this one too. But it's gonna be good, it's gonna be Real good. She is fresh off her appearance at Shine 52, and tonight she takes on Lucha Royalty. So tell me, how do you feel about that? So this is a really big opportunity for me. I mean, Taya is somewhere where I'm trying to get. Like, she's done things, she's accomplished things, and being a rookie in the business and in this sport, like, that's where I'm trying to be. So this is really going to show and test my abilities and see kind of where I'm at because you know what, like my goal is to make it and that's exactly what I plan to do. Well ladies and gentlemen, there you go. She's young, she's hungry, and she's ready to take on 
quarantine.